Hello and welcome to modules 11 and 12. So we're in it now. We are cataloging. Um, I would like you to read the uh, content page and that gives you a little bit about, you know, what cataloging is about, that kind of thing, what it used to be, what it is now. A couple of things that I want to draw your attention to are these two modules. It's a two, it's basically one module over two weeks. So the only thing that is separate is your blog post. I do want a blog post for each week just because um, it is a good way to sort of keep track of what you're, you know, what you've got going on. This is also um, a lot. So even though cataloging uh, the book Catalog It isn't that long, it's dense. If you're not used to cataloging, it's it, you're going to want to pick it up, read a little bit, put it back down. There are some different um, uh, activities that you can do, you know, uh, what do they call them? Exercises. Chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7 have exercises at the end. And I would like you, unless you're super like into cataloging and you've, you know, taken full on cataloging courses, please run through those just to make sure that you're grasping uh, what they're asking for. Um, it is, and it's, it's interesting. It's a little bit of our history as librarians, but also something that now is essentially done by somebody else and we just have the end product but it's it's good to know how the sausage is made as my grandma used to say which is terrible because when you find out how the sausage is made you don't want to eat the sausage anymore but cataloging i'm speaking metaphorically so um what i want you to do is there's going to be one discussion for this uh section because it's not really a uh, it's kind of like you get it or you don't. There's not a lot to discuss. However, there's some drama in the um, in the Dewey Decimal System. So um, in the past, I've had uh, optional articles about Dewey list libraries and, and genre fying because it used to be, you know, people would freak out about it. But now it's it's there's a certain amount of normalcy to it. But um, Melville Dewey and his system have come under some... Um, you know, some some deserved fire recently, um, the sort of um, colonialism that's inherent in it, the racism that's inherent in it, his own proclivities. So uh, there's, an, uh, there's an article by Cecil Adams from Straight Dope, What's So Great About the Dewey's Decimal System, which is a pretty positive look. But then uh, Mental Floss, Colin Ainsworth, gives us five controversial facts about Dewey and his system. And then um, I have two sort of profiles of uh, cataloging librarians who attempted, have attempted, well, one in the past, one is still, I believe, currently working, although he might be retired, but who have looked at ways to sort of um, fix a system that not 100% broken certainly needs some updating. So we've got, um, I keep wanting to call her Dorothy Parker, Dorothy Porter. Dorothy Porter and Sandy Berman, who are uh, two catalogers who are sort of looking to work out the kinks. So those um, those articles are optional, but I think that you're going to want 11, your cap a little bit. And again, you know, look at how much time you're spending. And if you are whipping through it, not having a problem, you're going to want more beef. You can uh, look at some of those optional articles as well. So your discussion, one Two week long discussion, three different visits uh, with posts throughout the two weeks, and then a blog each week. And you can use that to complain about how how <laughs> much you hate cataloging, or you can do it to rejoice that you're learning about cataloging. The final thing is there is a link to a form where you're going to need a partner for a section of the week 13 um, activity, which is where you're going to be involved in an interview. You're either going to be interviewed about your current OPAC, um, your online public access, access catalog, or you're going to interview someone who is working with um, an OPAC. And I want to make sure that those are basically, I want to make sure that those of you who aren't working in libraries have a partner who is working in a library so that they can really give you the skinny on their um, public access catalog. So you'll do a collaborative um, interview. So you'll both have the same blog post because the interview is going to be your blog post for week 13. And then from there, you're going to take the information you know about that um, OPAC that you've just learned about or that you've been working with, and you're going to find another OPAC, a different, a different one, and you're going to um, do a comparison. 
And then week 14, uh, you're going to give each other feedback on that. And then we're done. We're practically done. We're definitely in the home stretch. Four more weeks to go. Um, I have I'm about halfway through grading your uh, student uh, technology infused lesson plans, and they are spectacular. I hope that you are enjoying the verbal feedback as opposed to written feedback. Um, I may do the same thing for the for the professional development. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, thanks for the work that you've put in on them. I am, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun to to see how all the work that you're doing has paid off. So. And now, <laughs> now I will stop this video and get back to grading. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you in the discussion.